The scenario which uh, I will be discussing is sluggish or unresponsive server. So, this is uh, one of the most uh, common problems you face as a tech support executive that uh, the server is slow and sometimes unresponsive. So, the main resources uh, of a server are like you know uh, CPU, the RAM, the disk input output and also the network. So, the following sessions basically uh, focuses on CPU, RAM and disk input output. Overviews, overuse of any of these resources can cause the system to bog down. Okay. So, the assumption here is that you are able to log into the server and uh, you are able to run few commands to diagnose. So, the first command which uh, you probably will be running uh, will be the uptime to check the system load. Okay. So, let us open up the uh, terminal and then you know as you can see that you know you can run the uptime command here like this. So, the uptime command basically shows you the total amount of time the server is up. There is a first field there, so it is up for about 51 minutes and there are two users and you can see the load average. Okay. So, the last three numbers represent the 1 minute, 5 minute and the 15 minute load averages on the machine respectively. Now, these are important when you want to check the current state of a system. Okay. So, in a single CPU system with a load average of 1 means the single CPU is under constant load. If, if that single CPU system has a load average of say 3, then there is, there is 3 times the load on the system than it can handle. So, 2 out of the 3 processes are waiting for CPU resources. So, a load of 1 on a single CPU system is same as that of a load on load of 4 on a 4 CPU system in terms of the amount of CPU resources used. So, the load averages typically indicate that the system was loaded say 15 minutes ago. So, you can see in the PPT that the numbers are say 19.793.12 and also the 0 0.03. So, it indicates that the system was loaded 15 minutes earlier, but now it is relatively idle. Okay. So, often you might have to run um, uh, uptime multiple times to check the varying numbers and also you can use the top command to check the high CPU usage processes. Now, it is really important during troubleshooting to identify whether the load is CPU bound that is processors are waiting for CPU resources or RAM bound that is high RAM usage that has uh, you know moved into swap or input output that is processors fighting for disk or network input output. So, often you may have to run uh, uptime multiple times to check the varying numbers and you can use the top command as discussed earlier to check the CPU usage. Now, uptime and top command should be used or you know or uh, they are typically used together to troubleshoot very quickly. Okay. So, top is again a important tool to diagnose high loads. So, when you type top on the command line and press enter, you will see lot of system information. Okay. So, let us go here and then say top. Now, you can see that you know there is lot of information which is uh, coming out and top also basically shows the time that is the uptime, the number of users as well as the av load average. Now, it can also show you the CPU uh, usage, memory as well as swap. Okay. Now, the data is going to continually refresh and so by default the top sorts the processes according to how much CPU they use. Okay. So, if you do notice a process consuming, consuming all your CPU and you want to kill it correct, you can actually look at the pro, uh, PID and then actually press K to kill that particular process. For example, let me show you. Uh, so, let me open up a browser here now. So, I am opening the Firefox browser. Now, you can see that you know my CPU usage is coming to around 1 percent to 3 percent here that is the user time which is taking. So, you can see that you know the browser is uh, getting uh, open. So, let us wait for it to come over and you can see the P, um, the Microsoft, uh, the Firefox with the PID 5247 as the top consumer of the CPU resources. Now, if I want to kill that, what I will do is I will just pray, press K and enter the PID. Now, when I press K, it will ask me the PID. So, I will give the Firefox 
PID. So that is 50, 2, 40, 7 and then press enter. Now it is saying kill the PID with signal 15. Okay. So you should always uh, try to kill with the signal 15. So you can actually press on 5 and you can see that the Firefox is going to be killed. Okay. So always use the 15 uh, for killing because it allows the process to save the state or you know uh, end in a cleaner way. Okay. Now sometimes you can see that the top output is actually beyond a single page. Okay. So if at all uh, you want to uh, view the full output of the top or redirect it to a file, you can run it with the batch mode that is using the hyphen B option. So the hyphen B option enables batch mode and then the hyphen N option lets you control how many types or how many, how many times the top will update before it closes. So for instance, to run the top just once, you can uh, use top hyphen B hyphen N one or here in this case, I am running it two times. Okay. Or if you want uh, the output of the top command to into a file, then you can always use that top hyphen B hyphen N and then redirect it to the file top underscore output. If you also want uh, to you know uh, redirect the output to a file and also subsequently view it, you can use the T command. So you can actually pipe the output of top into the T command. So this way you can actually um, redirect the output to a file as well as view it on the console. Okay. In the next session, I will discuss about the uh, interpreting the top numbers in detail. Thank you.